eggs, guanciale, and pecorino cheese. In other words, carbonara. Carbonara is my favorite pasta ever, and is a must when I go in Florida to visit my in-laws. The history of carbonara goes back to the end of the Second War, when an Italian chef had to make a meal for the British and the US Army. He didn't have many ingredients, so he combined pasta and cheese with the eggs powder and the bacon of the US soldier meal, and he made history. The ingredients for this recipe are rigatoni, eggs, guanciale, pecorino romano cheese, salt, and pepper. I'm Nicola, I'm Italian, and I live in Toronto now. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a like. And now, let's start cooking. Add our guanciale in small cubes. Of course, if you can't find guanciale, you can use Italian pancetta or bacon, but the original recipe is with guanciale. Let's put our cubes into a cold pan. Start the fire to a medium-low temperature. We need to cook it slowly because we want to melt the fat and have crunchy cubes outside but soft inside. When the guanciale is cooking, we add some salt to the boiling water. Not a lot, because the eggs and cheese sauce is pretty salty. And we start cooking our rigatoni. You can also use spaghetti or bucatini, but I like rigatoni, because the creamy egg sauce can go inside and it's beautiful. We finally grate a generous portion of pecorino cheese. In a large metal bowl, we put one egg and one egg yolk. I'm making two portions of pasta. We add a generous amount of pecorino cheese and some black pepper. We mix everything together till we reach a thick paste. Then we add a little bit of pasta water and we start to mix the sauce on top of the boiling pasta water till we reach a creamy consistency. We can also do that using a double boiler if we have one. Then we put the pasta on the guanciale pan about three minutes before the cooking time, mixing everything together and we finish cooking adding some pasta water if it's necessary, like cooking a risotto. When the rigatoni are nice and al dente, we remove the pan from the fire and let cool down for at least one minute till we reach a temperature of 65 Celsius. At this point, we combine our pasta and the egg sauce, mixing well. We serve our carbonara, putting on top the sauce from the bottom of the bowl, grating a generous amount of black pepper and some pecorino romano on top. And buon appetito! And now my favorite part of this video, the tasting. <laughs> Amale, what do you think? It's so good, right? Yeah, that's good. Buon appetito! <laughs>